guys, this book is pretty long, so I'm probably going to have to break it up into a couple different sessions, okay? This is Creepy Crawly Caterpillars, and it's by Marjorie Fecklum, and it's illustrated by Paul Fecklum. This first part is called From Crawling to Flying in Four Easy Steps. Creepy crawly caterpillars are everywhere except the North and South Poles and on icy mountain tops. There are thousands of different kinds and not one looks like its parents. Caterpillars may appear to be worms, but they are insects. A worm is always a worm. But a caterpillar is only a caterpillar for a little while before it changes into a butterfly or moth. Some caterpillars are so small that they can live inside a flat leaf. Others are as big as a fat cigar. But all caterpillars have the same basic equipment. Their bodies are divided into 13 different segments. The first segment is called the head, with 12 tiny eyes called ocelli. A caterpillar doesn't see much more than light and dark and the shadowy figure of anything that moves. It doesn't have much of a brain, but it gets information about where it is with a pair of short antennae and about what it's eating through a pair of sense organs on its mouth called palpi. It has strong jaws called mandibles that can chomp through the toughest plant, but caterpillars never bite people. All caterpillars spin silk. This strong fiber is their lifeline, their trail marker, and their building material. A caterpillar has two large glands that make a liquid protein that oozes into two strands from a single opening called the spinneret in the caterpillar's lower lip. At the same time, a gummy substance called saracen oozes from a second pair of glands. The saracen cements the two strands of silk together as they harden Adult moths and butterflies can't make silk, but then they don't need it. On the next three segments of the caterpillar's body, there are three pairs of legs with claws. They will become the legs of the adult moth or butterfly. Most caterpillars also have extra pair of broad, broad flat, stumpy legs called prolegs on their rear segment. Tiny hooks on the bottoms of the prolegs give the caterpillar a strong grip. Did you know they had all those parts? Along the sides of a caterpillar, you can see a line of its breathing holes called spiracles. Like all insects, caterpillars have an exoskeleton instead of an inside skeleton. Its waterproof skin is made of the same tough material that makes up horns, hoofs, and fingernails. That's pretty interesting, isn't it? It's easy for caterpillars to stretch and contract because they have elastic joints between each segment. Wow! They can twist and turn better than any human acrobat. Oh my goodness, wait till you hear this. I'm going to start that sentence again because it's a wow. They can twist and turn better than any human acrobat because they have 4,000 muscles. My goodness, their body is so small. I can't imagine 4,000 muscles. Can you? That is a wow fact for sure. Humans have only 670 skeletal muscles. Wow. A caterpillar's only job is to eat and grow. When its exoskeleton gets too tight, it molts. The old skin splits and drops off, leaving a new one underneath. Many caterpillars stick to one kind of food 
Even if they're starving, they won't eat anything else. The caterpillar of the monarch butterfly eats nothing but milkweed. Domesticated silkworms eat mulberry leaves. Other kinds of caterpillars aren't so particular. They eat lots of different plants, and one kind of caterpillar even eats meat. Did you know that? I didn't know that. That's another wow fact for sure. Some caterpillars protect themselves by hiding. Their colors and patterns blend into the background. Others almost look scary with big eye spots and long horns. Still others are poisonous or have prickly hairs or spines that birds don't like to eat. How about that? That's one of the ways they protect themselves. Some even make noises that can scare a bird away. Did you know that a caterpillar can make a noise to scare a bird away? I didn't know that. A caterpillar is only one step in the life of a moth or butterfly. There are four stages in all, the egg, the larvae, which is another name for the caterpillar, the pupa, and the adult. The complete change from egg to adult is called metamorphosis. After a caterpillar has molted four or five times, it makes a cocoon. If it's a moth or a chrysalis, excuse me, if it's a moth or a chrysalis, and if it's a butterfly, and there it changes into a pupa. The pupa doesn't move, drink, or eat, although it breathes through spiracles. During this resting stage, the pupa makes the amazing change from a creepy, crawling creature into a butterfly or moth that can fly away. And I'm gonna bring this picture close so you can see it. Let's see. So here's its antenna, the spinneret, the palpate, mandibles. These are the true legs. These back here are the pro legs. Back here, this says a prop leg. This is its exoskeleton. And these, see these little dots? I'm going to try to get in so you can see them. All those little bitty dots in there. Those are the spiracles. So that is the chapter called From Crawling to Flying in Four Easy Steps. You know, it sounds so easy to me. Come back and we'll read some more of this. Bye-bye.